Hi, in this video I will show you how custom tools could be used to automate your file naming convention. So I will create a new part. So custom tool uses a custom property value to generate a file name. So here we have the custom property called file name, which associates a project number so you can define your project. And then we can see that the project is automatically associated with the file name and the sequence number was also automatically generated. If I select a different project then the file name is updated accordingly. So you can define your sequences, you can also generate the sequence uh, number manually and the sequence number are shared between designer. So now we have the first part of the file name and now I want to associate a description to the file name. For example I would like to use the frame. Okay, so now we can see that we have the project number, part number and the description. Then I click OK and Custom Tools saves the documents automatically to the right folder as I can associate a folder with a project. Of course this could be done manually. So if I check the save as I can see that the file has been saved to the correct settings and to the right folder. Now let's create a drawing for that part. So to name the drawings I have different possibilities but here I'm going to use the name of the model. So we'll have the same name between the model and the drawing. So I will save the drawing now. So it's as for the port it's saved automatically to the to the right folder. Okay and now let's say that I would like to use this port in a different project. So I can use the copy tool so this will allow me, for example, to modify the custom properties. So any custom properties of the document could be modified, the description, or in that case I want to uh, use it in a different project and also generate a different uh, part number. Okay, so here we have the original file name. So if I select, for example, the custom tools project, we can see that the file name has been updated and also the drawing number will be generated. So here we have the project and then also the port name that was automatically generated. So the port and all referred drawing will be copied. Then I click OK to copy and rename the document. So now the document has been copied and I will open it. Another way that I could copy and rename a doc document is through the custom properties. For example, if the property used to generate a file name is modified, then custom tool will automatically notice it. For example, I can generate, uh, select a project, for example here the ATR soft. As we can see, the property uh, file name has been updated and also the port name has automatically been generated. So custom tools offers me to do a save as, save as copy or different sort of action with the new new document. In addition I will also be able to copy and rename existing drawings.